Hey, it's Rihanna. Good afternoon <laughs> and welcome to today's vlog. Originally, I actually wasn't going to vlog today. I was going to film a video. Um, I've been wanting to film a trying to conceive update, but I'm going out to lunch with my family and I figured that was vlogging material, so I was going to vlog instead. Um, but I'm fixing to leave. I just want to show my outfit. Super cute. This skirt is from Torrid. The top is from Lane Bryant. I think this is like an 1820. And this is a 3. A 3. X. 3. X. 3. I don't know. Um, it's actually getting to the point where the skirt's probably a little big. I can't believe how baggy the shirt is. When I first got this shirt, it was tight. It's craziness. But I look cute. Yeah, it's already super warm outside. Um, like, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, it was freezing cold, rainy, awful. And yesterday and today, it's been in the like mid 70s. So, <sighs> Houston weather is all over the place, guys. Hey! It's us. It's the kids. You don't even look pregnant. I don't? No. Not at all. There you go. <laughs> Let it out. Let it out. Hey. Hey, vlog like people. You like my ears? Yeah, they're cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I got yeah, around pictures. I want to yeah, see. <laughs> I want to see your pictures. Yeah, wait till we get to the Okay. Yay! Baby pictures. Look how big the head is. Oh my gosh. Look at his hand. It was an accident. Isn't it awesome? That's awesome. Wait, he, he or she did not want to take pictures. They kept turning to the side. It was funny. The nurse was like, come on. Excuse me. It's pretty cool. It was a good ex experience. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, the women there are really nice, and it's all women. And they do my appointments for me. They already set one up for the 28th, so that's good. Oh, they'll do it every time. Yeah, I like that. Like every, whenever you're leaving or whatever, they'll tell you your next appointment. I like that a lot. Very <laughs> exciting. <laughs> <laughs> She's showing us her awesome chop stick. Stop chop stick <laughs> skills. I can't even say it. Chopsticks. Rude. That's lit. You broke the vlog, guys. The whole world's gonna know. Nobody's famous. Did you get a number yet? No. Um, I have like 900. Hold on, let's see. Oh, I was gonna ask that. Oh my gosh. I know, and today's what, the 15th? I'm not gonna make it. How did you need? I have 934 subscribers Come and on. I need 66. Everyone post her. Help me please on your Facebook. I, I need do. 66. I did it through direct messaging. Yeah. <laughs> They're like spamming people. Yeah, I like made people do it. <laughs> there are people who are like sending him screenshots so they wouldn't get beat up. Yeah. I was like, do you do it? Yeah. Look here. Look Just here. kidding. <laughs> Just kidding, YouTube. He's not doing that. Just no. kidding. I, 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 you want to go first? I Okay. You will soon be receiving an email with exciting news. Oh. oh. What, is he getting more food? <laughs> <laughs> We're over here. You can just edit him into it. Okay. Okay. Mine says real courage is moving forward when the outcome is uncertain. Oh. <laughs> Mine. It says, it's mm -hmm. a good time for you to travel, take a vacation. Uh, no. What? Uh, what? Next, month, next month is our year. Mine's dumb. I don't like it. Here, record me. It's coming. Okay. Ready? Yeah. The best way to get rid of an enemy is to make him a friend. Uh. Hi, open up your fortune cookie. We just yeah. read our fortunes and you oh, were getting food. Oh. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come on, old man. 
So yeah, next month is our one when the, year. Next month makes one year for us. Aww. Aww. And we want to go on vacation. <laughs> we're gonna, the we portion go. says for us to go out. No, Mama's on couple. <laughs> what? Mama and Rand are going to go half. No. <laughs> and send us to the Bahamas. Nobody Bahamas. pays for me and Jonathan's vacations. <laughs> we save our money and do it oh, ourselves. Yeah, so you send your womp womp. I'm just gonna zoom in on your face. I know you like that. No. <laughs> Finally back home. Traffic was terrible. It was the reason why I didn't want to go to lunch with my family. Was because I didn't want to have to deal with the traffic. But <sighs> it's whatever. So pretty sleepy. What'd you hear? I heard something too. What was it? Anyways. Making dinner right now, having some frozen meatballs with some barbecue sauce. Jonathan said that he's wrapping up at work right now, so he'll be home shortly. And yeah, that's about it. I think the kids are coming over. Rylan, I uh, did his taxes for him, and his tax refund is here, so he's gonna come over and come pick it up. Um, that money has burned a hole in his pocket. But yeah. I think I'm going to go start watching the new episode of My 600 Pound Life um, until Jonathan gets home. He doesn't really like to watch that show. So I'll watch as much as I can before he gets here. Oh no. What is that? No. That just got there. Dinner was delicious. Um, kids came over and picked up their tax stuff, but they literally only stayed long enough to pick up their tax stuff. So they. They didn't hang out or anything, which is cool because I saw them today at lunch with, you know, my parents. So, that was fine. Um, so, I wanted to talk a little bit just real quickly about what's going on with the trying to conceive. Because I keep teasing that I'm going to film an update and I haven't yet. And I really want to. Um, but I just, honestly, I'm scared to make a full video because I feel like if I talk about it, then something's going to change. But I really want it mentioned because I feel like I want to document the journey. So, okay. Last week, I had my well, well Woman's exam on Thursday morning. Or actually Thursday afternoon. And um, I temp using my sense, which, in case you don't know, um, I've done a review for it and I'll leave a link up in the eye and basically it's a vaginal um, basal body temperature device and you insert it every night before you go to sleep so um, I do that I've been doing that for since November and as long as I've been temping I have never seen um, the rise for ovulation so Thursday was my well woman's exam and then I somehow forgot to temp Thursday night and Friday night so when I went to bed I didn't I, re I remember not doing it the day of the doctor's appointment but I don't remember doing it another day but when I temped on Saturday night Sunday morning this happened right here that first one so here's my chart and you can see I missed two days here so uh, but it looks like there was a rise and I'm on it's either day five or day six past ovulation if I did indeed ovulate and OMG it's exciting for two different reasons one, obviously, because if I ovulated, then I've ovulated on my own for the first time that I know of. And if I did ovulate, I could very well be pregnant, which would be amazing. So I'm super excited. Obviously, I'm trying really, really hard not to get my hopes up and not to symptom spot or anything like that um and i've been for the first like four days i feel like i did okay but i feel like today i started like 
thinking too much about it. So I'm trying not to. I'm trying really, really hard not to. Um, but yeah, if everyone would pray for Jonathan and I that we can conceive this cycle. If like, because like I said, if I ovulated and everything worked out, I could very well be pregnant right now. I'll find out if so basically what we want is for my temperature to stay up at least for another week for sure because then that would know then I would know that I ovulated and I had a really good luter luteal phase the second part of your cycle and then <clears throat> um and then of course we want it to st actually stay up forever because then that would mean that I was pregnant um but if my cycle does start, um, I picked up two new supplements to add uh, daily. This is the Myo Inositol. I'm terrible with this stuff. I was a pharmacy, I went to school for pharmacy tech, and I still can't pronounce half this stuff. And then the other one is actually, y'all are propped up on it. It's the one that they say goes hand in hand with this, the D. Cairo Incital. You're supposed to take them together and it helps with um, ovulation and egg quality and regulating your cycles. So um, if my cycle does start, I will start taking those um, this next cycle. So, all right, well, that's like my mini trying to conceive update. Snuck into the end of a vlog because I'm too scared to put it out there in front of the whole world. Because I feel like I feel like the more people I tell, the chance of something not happening is higher. Like I'm going to jinx myself. Uh, that's the hardest part, guys. Okay, well anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, one of the things I don't really ask you all to do very often is to share my channel. Um, but if you know of anyone who might enjoy my content um if you would share my channel i would appreciate it just trying to get those last few subscribers in i'm not gonna make the cutoff i'm not gonna make a thousand in like five days but um once i do hit a thousand i want to reapply for partnership so uh, yeah okay i will see you guys tomorrow Bye. Baby, I want you to try one of these more grains. Don't sniff it! <laughs>